and leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. He, Reggie walks in looking really cool. He's got a Google Glass on, and I'm like, man, that's cool. And did he walk what did like you? That? Yeah, he walked like that. That's how you walk <laughs> if you've got you Google like Glass that? on. Everyone really? walks real cool. Nuts. He called the housing crash. He called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers. He's been harping on the crisis in the Eurozone banking system for years now, so he's just the guy to talk to. He's Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. <laughs> Reggie Middleton. Oh, he doesn't mince his words. We're talking about Reggie Middleton. Ooh. It's Reggie, Reggie Middleton. Greetings, this is Reggie Middleton. This is a short, maybe not so short, but shorter than usual video um, to answer some of the questions. I want to ask these questions in bulk that I've been getting about investing in Veritasium. Um, we're coming up against a, a deadline very near term. Um, next week where we have to finalize our patent applications that were first filed in the early part of 2014. These patent applications were to our knowledge and provably, I, I believe, and I'll show you in a minute, that these patent applications were the first um, applications for the capital markets use of blockchain technology. In other words, the high margin Wall Street stuff. We were the first to file. Uh, it's before all the big marquee names, all the usual suspects. You know them, okay? And um, all the big technology companies, all the little technology companies that we were aware of, and all the consulting firms. This is a technology underpinning the Veritasium smart contract system, the same system we use to give the rebates for our research, where you could go long go short Deutsche Bank with the multiplier. You could go uh, long Ukrainian hovner and short the euro. Um, you could do pairs, all types of things. Right now, the, the prototype, which is up and running, um, since December 2013, this project has been running in the public domain. Many thousands or hundreds have been using it. Um, still in beta, of course, lots of development to be done, but it's in the here and now. It actually works. It's real. And you can feel and touch it. We're looking for accred accredited investors or those who may know me personally um, for regulatory issues, reasons. And um, we're looking for a relatively small amount of money. But if there's a significant amount of interest, we'll take you in. OK, this is to um, f complete the filing of the patents internationally. OK, we plan on filing all over the world. And we think that these applications are very, very, very important strategically. I'm not going to bother to name them because I don't want to invite others to start picking and attacking the application. But I can say without a shadow of a doubt that we have a firm belief, provably, that we're first to file. Now, if you take a look at this chart, this chart shows where most of the filings from the capital markets perspective um, of blockchain technology and Bitcoin took place. Okay, this is a synopsis of those filings. Bank of America was pretty aggressive early on. Uh, Goldman did, but I don't think they did a very good job. Uh, it was um, turned down. And a lot of other companies went in. Okay? And then this is when we initially filed. Our priority date has bested everybody. We can say that because I've had my analyst car through all the patent applications from a year before Satoshi, Satoshi Nakamoto allegedly wrote the white paper, 2008, all the way up to December, to, uh, December 2015. We went through all these patent applications, scarred them, looked at them, massaged them, shortlisted, scarred them, looked at them, shortlisted, massaged, came up with a list of potential uh, competing applications, prior art, etc. After all this work, over 230 different applications with an average length of 30 to 60 pages, okay, of arcane technological stuff, we still stand very confident that we were first to file. Okay, I'm not gonna bother again identifying the application. Um, don't wanna invite undue competition. Um, we're definitely not patent trolls. As a matter of fact, we're just a very, very small entrepreneurial startup out of Brooklyn. Okay, but we have big ideas. We think out of the box. I think out of the box. If you haven't noticed, I do not look like, sound like, act like, behave, think, strategize, or invest like the usual suspects that you see. 
coming from the city in London or the street, Wall Street out in New York. But, you know, my stuff works. If you remember the intro, we called them all. Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, General Growth Properties, Washington Mutual, Countrywide, Blackberry, Apple, Google. Um, we're good at the strategy stuff. I saw the blockchain coming um, not as early as I would have wanted to. I thought I was late to the party. I thought I missed the boat in 2013. As it turned out, I was the one building a boat, which is why we got our applications in first, because I saw the power of the technology being in the blockchain and smart contracts while everybody else was focusing on bitcoins and payment remittances. The power of this technology is truly, truly still misunderstood. Everybody's thinking of private blockchains and uh, banking, back, uh, banking infrastructure and you know, back offices, IT, etc. That's not the way it's going to go down. The power in this is ushering in the peer-to-peer -peer economy. Having Peter deal directly with Paul without a middleman, third-party intermediary on a counterparty risk-free basis. Zero trust. You've heard it here first, second, and third. Now, we'll see if I was right, okay? Those following Deutsche Bank had a point there. I'll go down the list again. Pretty sure I have a point with the, the blockchain. If you believe in this, if you hear what I'm saying, if it makes sense, contact me, Reggie, at Veritasium.com. You can reach me through Twitter, Facebook, all the usual suspects, right? You're looking for capital, quick capital up front. Most likely convertible note, okay? Um, preferably accredited investor, but if you know me, okay, can call, if you're a friend or family, then come at me, okay? I don't want to exclude anybody, but we do have regulatory concerns. And no, we're not doing an ICO because um, I am not fully convinced that ICOs will pass muster with the SEC. Uh, to my knowledge, the SEC hasn't been after anybody yet, but there's a good chance we'll be stepping on a lot of toes, and I don't want to give anybody undue reason to be able to come after us because we're going to ruffle a lot of feathers. Okay? Disintimidation is here. It's real. And I'll prove it. Peace. Adios. Zai Bye. Ciao. Arrivederci.